Have you ever had a time in your life when you're saying, God, like really, right now? Uh, when I first got out of the seminary, I was assigned to start a church outside of Seattle. I was really excited about it. And the, one of the ways that you do that is you make all these contacts and the people in the neighborhood and you knock on doors and you just meet people and you invite them at the time we called it Bible Basics. We wanted to teach them the truths of God so they could know the peace that I know. Super excited about it. My first class, I heard about all my friends around the country who started churches and they had all kinds of people going to their classes. So I was really excited. So I, I scheduled the first one and uh, nobody shows up. I'm like, okay, okay, that's that's all right. You know, it could have been a bad day. And then a couple months later, I you know talked to a bunch of people. They made me promises, and then it, no one shows up again. Third time, I'm getting a little nervous, and I'm thinking I'm supposed to be a guy who starts churches. What's going on in my life? So I, I schedule the third one. I get all these promises. I was sure people were going to show up, and then you know seven o'clock or whatever time it was rolls around, and nobody nobody's there. And I'm kind of waiting and I'm, I'm saying a prayer and I'm kind of all kinds of questions in my life. And then there's this knock at a door and it's Darren and Susan and then Nick and Jenny and Alexandra come through this door. And I, I couldn't be more excited about finally doing like what I was actually called to do to start this church and share God's word with these people. You know, I think that'd be an awesome story and an inspiring story. Uh, but that didn't actually happen that way. The third time, no one, no one showed up either. And I remember sitting down in my basement and I had a class in my basement. How weird is that? But I had in my basement is a walkout basement and my wife came down and I just said, I need a minute. And I started thinking about a Charles Spurgeon quote and he's a Baptist preacher that was around a long time ago, but he had a quote that said, I have learned to kiss the waves that throw me up against the rock of ages. I don't know what kind of trials you're facing in your life right now. I don't know what kind of struggles you're facing right now, but I think back to those years. I mean, this is 16 years ago. And it still it kind of gives me chills thinking about it. Where would my faith have been from a human perspective if everything I did had a human success? And where would my church be if in my mind I thought it was Jared's effort and it was my hard work and my intuition that grew this church to where it was at? Sometimes God, even though you have amazing ability, uses what's happening in your life to humble you. Sometimes God uses your very best skills to humble you. Some guys, God just brings you low. And sometimes he just uses things to push you up against the rock of ages. When we went to start a church again, just outside of uh, Denver, south of Denver, we used a different passage to name that church. And this is the one, it's from Isaiah. It says, trust in the Lord forever. For the Lord, the Lord himself is the rock eternal. I don't know what kind of trials you're facing right now, but I know that Christ faced even more trials. I know that God went all the way to a cross to assure your salvation. And whatever he is throwing at you, I guarantee it's for your eternal purpose to move you from here to where God wants you to be. So let's pray. God, it's hard to trust. Uh, and it's hard to trust when we're so scared, but you are the eternal rock. You became flesh and blood for our sake. You bring storms, you allow storms, but we know it's all part of your plan. So we pray with the psalmist, do whatever necessary to bring us close to you, our rock eternal. Amen. Hey, what's up everyone? Pastor Mike here from Time of Grace. Thanks so much for checking out this podcast. Uh, we certainly would love this message to reach more and more people. So if you wouldn't mind rating and reviewing this podcast, it would bring it to more people's eyes, and we pray this message into more people's hearts. Thanks for your support, and we'll talk to you soon.